Hey guys. Welcome back to some more Hogwarts. Let's grab all our plants. Oh, they're not done. They ain't done yet. Poop out the fertilizer already. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Alright, we're going to astronomy class finally, I think. It's literally the only quest we have, so... What else are we gonna do? You know what? I, I thought I saw a... Side quest somewhere, though. Maybe it was in Hogsmeade. Yeah, I think it was in Hogsmeade. Uh, let's look at it real quick. Oh, you know what? It was World Map, wasn't it? I forget where it was. Oh, it was down here. Yes, it was here. We'll deal with that later. We'll go to uh, Hogwarts, we'll do our class. What are you up to now? And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies. Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. <laughs> you can share with Mr. Takar. Wow, he looks. Here, I can adjust. What's that. the word, oh, giddy? No. Bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, <laughs> it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. 
Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Oh, hello. I'm Amit. We met in potions class. I'm happy to report that we've yet to have any explosions in this class. Oh, hello. Oh, meet. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. Sure. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? Take your telescope. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I, I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards, and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Revelio. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. A lot of good that did. How am I supposed to find Sirius if I find this recording in the telescope? It's a dog, isn't it? Should we talk to everybody? Let's talk to everybody. The constellations are beautiful. I'm not sure they're worth dying of a cold for, but they are beautiful. Dying of a cold. Our meat thinks he knows everything. Even told me he can speak gobbledygook. Sounded like gibberish to me. I want to use this giant ass telescope. Look at that size of that thing. I had heard about these odd stone tables out in the Highland. Perhaps that's what Professor Shaw was talking about. Not sure what you can learn from these astronomy tables that you can't learn from a cup of tea leaves. Tea leaves? I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. A lot of good that did. How am I supposed to find Sirius when my hands are too cold to use a telescope? It's a dog, isn't it? It's called gloves, bro. Revelio. This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. Ah, a pristine night for stargazing. Do not let it be wasted. Professor Shah. I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy <laughs> and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar, the other is mere lunacy. You mentioned astronomy tables earlier, in class. What were you talking about? Yeah, I don't even Long know the ago, difference. Astronomy and astrology. Of arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are One of them is for studying constellations near and far. It's like the physics of these wizards made use of these the astronomy tables for stargazing. And Sadly, one is they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid like intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. 
I think. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. Oh, I see what you did there. Stellar? Ha 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 ha. No, not really. Perfect night for. Oh, hello again. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third rate lunar scope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, spit stay Spit at by a stone. Let us get moving while the stars are still how out. How does that work? I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No Let's need go. to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Cowards, I tell you. Charging ahead. Oh. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Wait up, wait up. Where are we? It's down this way. Uh. The heck is this doing here? Revelio. Quidditch Pitch. Hogwarts Quidditch Pitch is the site of intense house rivalries as chasers, beaters, keepers, and seekers take this to the skies in pursuit of Quidditch Cup. That is, of course, when the favorite sport of the wizarding world has not been cancelled for the year by an exceptionally oblivious headmaster. How many, um, things do we have now? Hogwarts map. One twenty three out of one fifty. Revelio. Hmm, a little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Armit, could I ask you something? Oh, um, certainly. Where precisely is the table we're looking for? According to an old astronomer's chronicle I found in the library, it may be somewhere along the castle wall. Why are you so fascinated with stars? I suppose because there is so much to learn about them. I mean, there is plenty to learn about a lot of subjects, but astronomy seems limitless. Always something new being discovered. They are forever discovering new moons and stars. In fact, they discovered a new planet just 50 years ago. Actually, that's all I wanted to know. Oh, that's it. Very well then. <coughs> Revelio. This bathtub has been kept behind lock and key for as long as anyone can remember. Rumor has it that the tub was enchanted to chase after students decades ago who were too obsessed with their studies to care much for personal hygiene. So this should be 124 now, right? Yep. 
Okay, I see it right there. That's the table. Revelio. Let's go this way. Confringo. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Revelli. Oh no. Not this close to school. Look, meet. there's a table. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. Okay, how do I do this? What I do? All right. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. Okay. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, oh, I we see. will be able to fill out our star chart. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite oh, I generous. Will. Thank I you. intend to keep it. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Um, anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Revelio. Ah, <sighs> never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a view. Okay, this is the way we came I from. I learned of a wizard who is being harassed by Halo. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Halo down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next uh. steps? Revelio. Where am I? Am I at the front gate? Okay, this is where I am. Where's the chest? There was literally a chest that was here. I swear to oh, God. Meat. He's likely studied her. Right there. Revelio. Why does it not show up? That's weird, man. We're there too. There's like a um Talking or something. Revelio.
Dude, I... I don't like that. It's not showing anymore. This is really fucking buggy. Oh, there it is. Finally. Holy crap, that's a long Revenge. way off. I pressed ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. But my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. <laughs> this is what we started before, I think. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Hallow. We need to speak with him. <sighs> Where are you, Archie? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? He must be around here somewhere. When did you last see him? Archie was home with his father while I was out. His satchel's missing. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... when my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Oh, he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... He was convinced that... We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <sighs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Achi home. Where could Archie have gone? <sighs> if anything happens to him... Why did he challenge that horrible man? Where are you, Archie? May I ask you something, Mrs. Bickle? I'll answer what I can. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <sighs> what am I going to do? <laughs> My 
husband. What will I do? When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is Rebellion. a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. We will need something more. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints! He went this way! I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Lead the way. Revelio. Wolves, prepare for a fight. Accio. Incendio. Keyfringo. I hope Archie didn't cross paths with that wolf pack. We should look around. See a pack. Pack on a tree. Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for rebellion again. Okay, he walks up. Revelio. Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Halo must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Revelio. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. Oh, what the heck? Levioso. They're Strauss. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I was when I was nine. Come on. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. 
I found uh. content. Akio. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve God damn it. Levioso. Ooh, got him. Revelio. Should I get another one? Levioso. Oh, I see a blue one. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... <clears throat> Let us keep moving. We must find action. Come on, let's go. Keep up. Whoa, what the heck? Where are we? Oh, I see. Wow, we walked quite a ways, actually. Taking in children now, are we? Better not be expected to feed him. Oh, they have Archie. Be on your guard. There can be no mistakes. <laughs> Revelio. Traficus Totalus. I like how they just like stiffen up and ta. One. I don't know why the walls are um, blue like that. Why do they highlight the walls? Just because they can crumble? Well, look at the size of this tent. On the inside, is this a... That complicates things a little. Magic fucking tent. Look at this. Slice Ashman on Deuce while casting Reducto. Break a shield charm with a magic throw. Hey, Abby. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? We're going to try to do this dueling feat. You don't think he saw it happen? Oh, we don't want to do this, though. We don't want to be invisible. I stream... I stream at least three times a week. Um, I stream longer on the weekends. Um, but I do usually stream on Monday and Thursdays as well. Uh, 
What is a magic shield Aha. charm? Ha! You're easier to spot than an We're going for the platinum in this game, so we have to do these dueling feats. Unfortunately. These aren't duelists anyway, so we can just kill them. No, I have, um, I have custom stuff already. I have, like, um... Starting screens and whatnot. Animated starting screens and... And alerts and stuff. Thank you, though. Are you an artist? Revelio. Alright, we need to deal with the duelists. Uh, I haven't seen any duelists. How lightly be as a shadow. Oh, I messed that one up. Still no duelist to be found. Oh, wait up. This is a Katrin Haggerty. I heard like a voice. Someone's crying out. Help? 
Revelio. Down. How do we get down? Stairs down. Ah, here we go. Revelio. Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Hello, Hamora. Sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Revelio. <coughs> Glad I loaded those chests before we talked to him. Mother, oh mother, father's friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Rabe, Mr. Filbert, and I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. We don't want to worry you. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to Revelio. Worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. Slytherin common room. Is he Slytherin? I thought he was um, Gryffindor. Revelio. Confringo. Okay, what the hell? Hmm. 
Okay, thank God we can do it from here. So this should be 125 of 150. Revelio. Oh shit. It's a book. Accio. Revelio. The heck is this? This is inside though. The heck, man? Revelio. Oh, I see a chest. Okay, how the heck do we get that? Revelio. On the third level here. Oh, I just forgot to loot this, or I couldn't loot it when I was up here. Let's just follow the freaking wasp, whatever. Wisp. We'll call it a wisp. Revelio. I don't know what that blue thing is. Revelio. Let's save it before we start this as well. And I'll be right back.
All right, let's do this quest. You're here. Brilliant. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this Rebellion. way. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. There he is. Ravelli. Look. What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about, what was it, a scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite he looks aunt, blind. He's got no pupils. Like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here. And I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... we don't regret this. Sebastian! Over here! These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Rebellio! Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better Aloha than two. Aloha, Simple mathematics. Rebellio! Remember, three braziers are involved. <laughs> Someone was actually listening. I do that. Occasionally. Revelio may help. I want to go down here, though. That's the thing. I I guess I won't. Now 
house on its own. I wonder if it's a clue. I hope we're ready for this. Dark, ominous corridors. My favorite. No comment. Come on, that was a good one. Looks like a locked door. We may want to look around. I must prove my point. We do not use the dark arts as my family instructs. When I reach the scriptorium, I will find evidence that there's more to Salazar Slytherin than we realize. I have written to my brother. He knows how I ascend to the corridor's entrance, and that there's no straight path to reach the scriptorium. It's a maze with many challenges to solve. I hope that my brother will follow my lead and we can study our ancestors' legacy together. A journal entry, signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? Ominous. Your family was here. I know. She was my aunt. You knew? And didn't tell me? Ominous. The journal mentions many challenges ahead. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. Revelio. The voice is ancient. Sinister. You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. Hoping. Believe doesn't me, want to go I in am there. having thoughts, but I'm still convinced we should go ahead. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? I... Never mind. Revelio. There's no clear way forward. Like a maze. Good Fringo! Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. Revelio. The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clues. Confringo! Lumos. Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. Salazar Slytherin buried his scriptorium deep within Hogwarts. I'm afraid I shall lose my way around these dark corridors. I am a descendant, and yet I feel unwelcome. Lighting these braziers in the corridor is helping. I shan't lose heart. Challenge by challenge, I will make my way through. Noctua Gaunt. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Poor Aunt Noctua. The dial requires focus. Aunt Noctua said the same. It may take practice solving. That didn't sound good. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. Okay, I see what they want us to do. Lumos. Revelio. So. Circle and snake. 
another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. Matching the symbols did open it. I was about to do that myself. You got to Revelio. <laughs> nice work. Confringo. I failed the dial, and it struck my face as if it were a real serpent. I must find a way forward for my family's sake. We should not require children to conform to old traditions. This scriptorium must have proof that there is no more to our legacy than meets the eye, not to a grant. Ominous. Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. Revelio, she did. She hey, 420, how's it going? Guess we go back to this one now. Oh shit. No! I forgot to look. And I can't cancel. I'm gonna get bit. How are you doing on this fine Friday, 420? You sound surprised. We're in a maze designed by Salazar. Oh, really? It's. I don't know what that is. It's like a bull and like a Z. Should have went the other way. Seemed like it took forever. That sounded promising. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Revelio. Extraordinary. This journey is painful but rewarding. I shall soon find the scriptorium and discover untold secrets regarding our house founder. Salazar Slytherin intended more than what we've become. I know it. Noctua gone. Noctua references painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. All I heard was been in the hospital world. again? I'm sorry to hear that. The the medication doesn't work. Lumos. Okay, so this is fish and pyramid. But Where's the want to solve the head? Search each corridor. It may not be obvious which leads where. So maybe we'll go back to that other one. Fish and pyramid. So one over here? Ah, yes. Another... not the welcoming sort, was he? Playing Fortnite? Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. So it's like any game then or something. I don't know. I spotted something ahead. Rebellio. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. What does that say? Crucio on the, on the floor? I think we're locked in. Again. Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Closer to the ding now. I've lost hope. I'm locked in. I heard a scream and saw the tortured faces. The only way forward is with an unforgivable curse. Even if I wanted to cast it, I have no one upon whom to do so. Talazar Slytherin created a malicious challenge indeed. My last correspondent to my brother, I'd invited him here. Now, if he looks for me alone, I'll have led him to his death. 
Despite our differences, I wish him no ill. I wish we had parted on better terms, snuck to a grant. Gaming glasses. Okay. Ominous. I didn't realize that was a thing. A skeleton. That's cool. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. What do we do? You said you know what to do. Talk what kind of glasses are they? Are they like um, Crucio is etched into the stone? My guess. Some sort of special glasses that the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? I'll ask him. He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Liquid luck. I'm all for liquid luck. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. That's cool. I, I didn't realize Sebastian they made um, glasses. Cruciatus curse is pure torture. I don't know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. Do they block I out certain? And one all how do they work? Is that's what I'm I'm wondering. I how do they even work? The worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want. To cause pain and for that i shall never forgive myself that spells the reason i have no family left you and sebastian will need to sort out another solution if you cast crucio you will regret it forever okay so you don't want to cast crucio what do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast this if I have to. Well, it's better than me doing it if I don't know it. Wow, there's a lot of options here. Uh, I don't know what the best one is. Yeah, so that it says it says it has no effect on the main story. Who did I pick for what? This this right here? I think I'm going to pick me. I want to learn, but you must cast it on me. That's what I'm going to pick. I want to learn the curse, but I won't cast it on you. You need to cast it on me. 
I shan't forget this. Ready? I'm ready. Oh. I picked, um, I'm Gryffindor House. Excruciating, but I'll survive. Let's keep moving. We made it. We found Rebellion. Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium. Oh, I can't believe we're here. Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium, a secret and well protected room beneath Hogwarts where Salazar Slytherin appears to have spent time making various long term plans with respect to the student population and reflecting on disagreements he had with the other founders. Spellbook. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. Revelio found something. Oh, you two go ahead. Spellbook. Let me know what's in it. I wander around a bit. May I have a look? I fear we shall never come to an accord. I cannot persuade even one of them to listen to reason. I had dared hope that Godric's thoughts were aligned with my own, that he understood why the caliber of student needed to be exceptional, but he has fallen prey to this the ridiculous notion that Muggleborns are somehow as capable as purebloods. He was furious when I expressed my displeasure at his thoughts on the matter, thoughts he had not yet put voice to. I tire of the discord, and can no longer bear witness to the corridors of full inept children masquerading as witches and wizards. It is with a very heavy heart that I now know I must go from here. I shall place the creature into a deep sleep in its chamber until it can be awakened by one who shares my views, a descendant willing to reverse the damage that others have so carelessly wrought, and who shall rid the school of those unworthy of Hogwarts that would serve only to stain my legacy. Revelio. It's gonna unleash the beast. What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. Didn't I just explore it's it? Breathtaking. Like right now? Revelio. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. Oh, we got a secret exit here? Slytherin Dungeon. I see a way out. Best news I've heard all day. Ominous, about your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. Press complete. There it is. Revelio. All right, but, but, uh, we missed. 
couple things down here, I thought. I can find my way back. Yeah. Hello, Hamora. Rebellion. What is down here? We've been down here before. I don't know why the lock... Locks don't... They're not supposed to respawn. But that lock was definitely there. Yeah, we have been here before. Okay. So... Back to the map chamber. I should probably do some exploring today as well. But let's knock out some main quests here. be wise not to underestimate this student. Their aptitude for magic is beyond anything I've ever seen, and I've been teaching a long time. It is a joy to have such a student. It can be. There you are. Talking about me behind my back, are we? I've received your owl. I was able to speak with Lodgok, the goblin I mentioned before. What did you learn? He and Ranrock were close once, but they had a falling out. You believe he can be trusted? He seemed trustworthy. Difficult to know, really. But Sorona Ryan trusts him. Well, that's something, I suppose. Supposing he can be I think trusted, he can be trusted. Will he help us get to Ranrock? I retrieved a stolen helm he hopes to return to Ranrock in order to regain his confidence. You have been busy. Let's hope your efforts result in our learning something about Ranrock's plans. Lord Gok did mention that Ranrock is searching for something, but he couldn't say what. Perhaps that helm will yield some answers. You do have to join Ranrock all three houses to get platinum. I feel as much. I've heard an unusual amount of activity, goblins and wizards, I surmise when visiting my portrait at my castle. Rockwood Castle? My former residence, yes. That castle is also the location of your next trial. You didn't see anything? Speak with anyone? I did not. In fact, I did not make myself known. I only recently returned there and did not recognize nor trust anyone that I heard. I stayed out of sight. So as not to tempt my portrait's destruction. I'm sorry to tell you that Victor Rookwood, evidently your descendant, is a dark wizard in league with Ranrock. My descendant? A dark wizard? I'm afraid we've no time to waste. Despite the obstacles that clearly await you, you must get to Rookwood Castle immediately. Not only is it the location of the next trial? It is home to a source of power that would be devastating in the wrong hands. I do wish we had the luxury of time. However, I do not doubt your abilities. Find my portrait there as soon as you can. Very well, sir. I'm on my way. Best of luck. No time to waste. I'll meet you at Rookwood Castle. Revelio. Okay, where is Rookwood Castle? Uh, 
I don't really have a quest for it yet. Alright, so it's right, it's literally right where we're supposed to go anyway. We should probably do the astronomy tables as well. Try to do this this triangle here. Yeah, here we go. This is it. Okay. There's one. You mark my words. Revelio. Wish you could make this faster. Maybe I twirled it the wrong way. Come on. Draco. We should be able to do this one now. Let's find out. Unless there's another quest that brings you back. Because we've already done the quest. Oh, see, now we can fly in here. We didn't used to be able to fly here. Revelio. Why can't I open it? That's some BS. Yeah, because I was wondering how to get this, uh, this chest here. And these baggies. Must get all baggies. Revelio. Ha ha! Time to teach someone a lesson. You can feed a beast, or it can feed you. Get my meaning. Shh. 
Show yourself. I see you. Damn it. You saw me. Akio. Levioso. Oh shit. I shall get that goblin health back. Hopefully from your control. Tempest Thorn. Tempest Thorn. Where's this other guy? I don't like how you can't like you pass through a freaking fence. Revelio. Okay, so now it's done. It's gone. Wonder how many astronomy tables there are. I don't think there's that many. Then we'll go do the second challenge. Trial, whatever. Oh, come on. It's right there. Scorpius. All right. Let's head towards the second, or the, the yeah, the second trial, right? Another adventure, are we? Oh, this one's the easy. Corvus. All right, so second trial, it's over here. There's stuff around it we could do as well. She could turn this thing faster.
Roll gym. Revelio then sleep on my feet, I could. Let's let's grab the flu flame first before we Oh, I hate when it bugs out like that. Good bring up. Oh, 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 Save it. And of course, it's at during daytime, so we'll wait. Over here. What's going on here? Professor Rookwood was right. The place is crawling with Victor Rookwood's lot and Ranrock's loyalists. They're working together, all right, but it is not a friendly alliance. I'm sure you'll agree that we need to find a way in other than the front gate. Let's go. Sneaky, Rebellion. sneaky way in. wants us to find the child, but which child? We could take every child we find to Ranrock. Eventually, we make it the right one. Cool. Sounds like a lot of work. Perhaps we just... Is to tell us. I do like kind of listening to their conversations, though. Revelio. So we've got a lot of points of interest we'll have to clear up after. You can't stop Red Rush Rebellion! Those goblins in my family weren't in the mines at one time or other. What are you doing? Defender. What is this? Defender. No! Expel the armor. I will make you pay. I'm just gonna drop him off the cliff. Confirm. Incendium. No. Oh, we completed a feat. I didn't even realize we were doing a feat. Revelio. Good. I gotta be more mindful of that because That's our way. we need all the feats we can get for platinum. Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. Revelio. If I'd known your plan was to dig up half the I country... I wouldn't have to dig if you could simply manage Van to Rock? bring me the child. We wouldn't need the child if you hadn't sent a dragon to retrieve the container. I spent months and countless ministry favors tracking. You let them board the carriage. 
My options were limited once I knew it would be inconveniently beyond my reach at that infernal school. Have you not acquired enough Love power the top here? Hat. I allowed you to tunnel under my family home. Allowed me? You are here only because you are descended from a keeper and may at some point inadvertently become valuable. We had an agreement. I will share with you the power that I discovered if you locate the stores of magic that are yet to be found. So, unless you want another demonstration of my power, a power that you one day hope to wield, bring me the child. We already knew they were after you, but now we know they're digging for stores of magic. And Ranrock knows about the Keepers. Yes, I caught that too. Professor Rookwood said that you'd understand more once you complete the next trial. Let's get into that castle. Revelio. Look at all these chests. Look at all these goodies. Why didn't we just ambush Ranrock right there? Oh no. Any special words you want me to pass on to your mum? Wingardium Leviosa. And quite conductive, aren't we? That's no more happy days for you. And send you. Shut up. Oh, disarm an ash wire while they're... Dang it. Flash of inspiration. That's something. That's something. What are your folks on electricity? Wait, what? Just wait till I come down. I was in the wrong. Slam an airborne enemy with descendo. Alright. So this is gonna be a this and then a this. Yeah, they can fire at me, but I can't fire at them because of the freaking angle. Freaking ridiculous. Incendio. Confringo. Defendo. Revelio. Uh. 
That was quite the battle. We ended up using a lot of uh, spells there. Revelio. Oh, those are balloons. What are those things? I should have, um, <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm out of slots. Can I fast travel? Nope. Revelio. I suppose that's the quick way down. Depulsa. Revelio. Of course, you have to go to the dungeon. Revelio. Goblin tracks. They're a step ahead of us. Let's see where they lead. Wow, this is quite the tunnel. This is what they were talking about. This must be it. The store of magic and the source of Branrock's power. It looks empty. If they've taken all of it, why are they still here? Branrock said there's more to be found, and if he's right about that, it may or may not be located here. Wherever it is, we need to find it before they do. Where is that portrait? Revelio. I heard something. I was hoping that was you. Professor Rookwood, the goblins and dark wizards who've overrun your castle are digging for stores of magic and have broken open some sort of container. No! Things are more dire than I could have imagined. If, as you told Percival, 
a goblin in his vault was wielding a powerful magic, then they have somehow learned. It cannot be. And sir, they know you were a keeper. Ranrock used the term. This makes no sense. How did... We shall discuss this later. Right now, you must complete the next trial. Sir, surely I've proven myself. In light of what's happened, perhaps Serious. you can tell me everything now. The Give me some more information. The wield must first be fully understood. The trials will ensure that. Power without knowledge is dangerous indeed. In the wrong hands, we will simply have to outwit Ranrock. Well, then knowledge me and already. And fortunate namesake. Very well, Professor. Tell me where I need to go. I shall reveal the path. Professor Fig must leave you now. Rebellion. I would join you if I could. I shall await your arrival in the map chamber. Man, I really wish I had freaking sold some of this gear so I'm not full up. Revelio. In the major dungeon. This sucks. This way, I guess. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. 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 I just hope there's no chest. And I see a chest already. What was I thinking? Of course there are chests. Oh shit! Wait, what? Let's just delete some shit. It's not like we don't have enough money. So, you know.
Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. That pillar is blocking the path. I'll need to move it. Do I want to go this way? Revelio. Did I fuck up? Where did it go? Did it go back? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, let's... Let's fall back down. Okay, it doesn't even appear until we hit the thing. Okay, so I think we can. T I got. We got to take this over here then. Yes, I don't know. Levioso. That doesn't work. Is there any way to reposition this archway?
Ain't going back that way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know how to proceed, I just don't know how to get the chest. Revelio. Want the chest. Even though it's probably has crap in it anyway. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. What the Revenue. F? So annoying, man.
I'll be right back. All right, so I'm going to restart this going like this. Okay. All right. Guardian Leviosa. 
Freaking finally. I don't know why that took me so long. I was- I'm out of it today. And it's crap, like, green stuff, too. Alright, so now... You wanna do the chest. Okay. Ay ay ay. Okay. Revelio. Pensive Sentinel. Alright, do we have these? We have Pensive Sentry and Pensive Protector. Pensive Sentinel. so bad. I need to proceed to the left here, but how? Rebellion. Revelio. Oh, 
Oh, what? Whoa, he's, he's fucking invisible. What the F, man? Wingardium Leviosa. This here, right? Something like that. <laughs> Leviosa. Leviosa. Hitting those marks readjusts the archways. Perhaps there's a way forward from the other side of this one. Revelio. <coughs> God damn it. Get rid of the greenies. Not much better. Revelio. Incendio. Incendio. Can Incendio. Expelliarmus. Revelio. That's the way I came in. Oh shit. Wingardium Leviosa. Okay, let's try this again. Accio. 
Guardian Leviosa. Yeah. Revelio. Quite the grand staircase. Oh, I see a chest. Boss fight. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to go inside the gate too for the invisible guys, I think. Oh shit. Oh, shit. It's hard when you don't can't see him. Incendium. Or can I see these guys even after I go through? Here's the real boss. Pensive Guardian. Hell is firing at me. What? 
How did that hit me? I didn't even see the dueling feet again. What a relief. Revelio. Grab this chest. Ah. In a green. Revelio. All right, that's it. to hear of Isidore's travels. Do you come in? Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father... These are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. What have you done? I took his pain. This is uncharted magic, Isadora. You can only see what has been sealed in the jar, and we do not know what power that may hold. But the traces of that magic are different from what I've seen before. 
Thank you. Revelio. Revelio. Back. And in one piece, no less. It is good to see you again. Professor Rookwood told me about what happened at Rookwood Castle. In light of the dire circumstances in which we find ourselves, it is most fortunate that someone so competent is following this path. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep the second artifact safe as you've advised. Good. Are you ready to move on? What was the glowing strand that Isadora pulled from her father's chest? It was... pain. You will understand more about her actions as you complete the trials. I'm ready for whatever comes next. In that case, introductions are in order. Allow me to introduce former Hogwarts headmistress, Neve Fitzgerald. How do you do? I must say that I was not entirely surprised to learn that a student had been completing the trials. I've always believed Hogwarts students capable of anything they set their minds to. Thank you, Professor. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. I am certain that you are more than capable of completing my trial. However, I must first, how shall I say, prepare the location of your next trial. We trust your judgment, Professor Fitzgerald. You should know better than anyone how to manage the inconvenience of, well... A vainglorious and exasperating headmaster? Indeed I should. I shall confirm that everything is in order immediately. Of course. Professor Fitzgerald needs some time to clear the way forward. Until then, you should continue to hone your magic. If you learn more about Ranrock and Victor Rookwood's activities in the meantime, please let us know. Very well, Professor. I know, I know. Continue to hone my magic. You do learn quickly. Hopefully you will soon hear from Lodgok as well, and we shall learn how he fared with the helmet you retrieved. Well done today, as always. We shall speak again soon. Rebellion.
Patty told me about your run-in with the poachers. I have some news about them as well. Can you meet me soon? I fear that some of what I uncovered has to do with you. When you have a moment, please stop by the Room of Requirement. Deke mentioned you might be interested in learning how to breed beasts. Revelio. Assignments all. The Exploding Charm. Bombarda. Once you have completed the tasks I've set forth, speak to me after class. And the mic put me on mute, of course. How's it going, adorable? I'm doing pretty well. We're learning Bombarda, which is, you get to blow shit up, so what can be better than that? Hello, Grace. What are you doing here? Nice to see you. Thank you again for your help at this. I hate this minigame, too. I've become quite good at Summoner's Court, and I'm waiting for my next opponent. I suppose that's you. I suppose so. Shall we begin? We shall. I'm game. Well, let's see what you're made of. The Pinch Smedleys will always look upon you as a trusted ally and friend. Oh, you have to roll them. How the heck did you she do that? Didn't What do you mean I didn't see it? That was like a perfect freaking roll. Akio. Oh shit. Uh I hate this minigame. Oh, you get a hundred if it's on the Whoa, look at that. Shot. Okay, if I get a hundred, I tie it up. No, <laughs> all right, Seems I got the better of you. She got the better of me. Seems you couldn't get the upper hand that time. How about another round? Fine. Let's have it. Then take You have to beat them to uh to actually progress, which is kind of annoying. Let's try this again. We're going to use her ball as a buffer for my ball to get on the 100. Yeah. No. Same thing happened. I'm going to do it. I'm going to push her right off. Watch this. <laughs> balls are balls. Shoot. 
What are we going to do? Let's just go ham and, and bump her ball off. Oh. Hide. A draw. We can't leave it like that. No. <laughs> yes, we can. I just want to be done. She just won't let Seems me. You couldn't get the upper hand now. Let's have it. Then take your mark. I'm glad they go first. Oh, we can't have her getting a hundred points. No freaking way. Akio. Oh. That's the way to do it. Bump her off again. Tied up. What a remarkable shot. What? That's the way to do it. That's some BS, man. Akio. Oh, yeah. That wasn't what I wanted I'm to see. I'm patting myself on the back for it that one. I've been bested. Done. Diving, summoner's court. Seems there's nothing you can't do. Good game. You played a good game, though, Grace. I did play rather well, didn't I? Only one student has ever beaten me. She's very good. But if you play the way you did against me, you might stand a chance. What have you been up to, adorable? I'm gonna pop fruit. Or I guess... Pumpkins aren't fruit, it's a vegetable, right? I hear that. Study Salazar Sidorin's spellbook. Meet me in the Undercroft. I found something. Rebellion. Oh, he found a spellbook. What what was this cutscene about? I don't even know. I take it you're ready to learn your new... I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. Oh, we get a new spell? The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. Of course, Professor. We always use caution. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your work. Wink, wink, manner. nudge, nudge. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. We can hurt people now. Steady wand movements. This, is, Remember, this is the explosion, the explosion spell. Highly volatile. I'm gonna terrorize the citizens of Hogwarts. 
Well done. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. <laughs> we get to blow up pumpkins. How rewarding. Here we go, here we go. Bombarda. Excellent. Booyah. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. But I have pumpkin guts all over me now. Textbook execution. Bravo. Did you hear that? It was textbook execution. Excellent. You have it well in hand. Is that an A plus if I ever heard it? Revelio. Professor, might I have a moment? Yes. What is it? I was wondering what inspired your interest in magical beasts. Are you considering some sort of profession in the field? I haven't decided I find them quite fascinating. Yet, but I do fascinating. find magical beasts fascinating. Hmm. You do seem to engage well with the beasts. Audio books or regular books? I believe that when choosing a path, only audio books cuz that's like the cliff notes, one right? Must take into account both one's enthusiasm for a particular subject as well as how one may best serve the students to whom one is Cliff notes of magic spells and teach. Of course, Professor. When it it actually makes sense, there, though, right? Because you're like, quite vividly. It you're was you're saying a word with the casting years. too. I read in the prophet Revelio. about the who'd been selling Ockamy eggs and disappeared in the mountains near my home. I knew of the Ockamy, of course, from my studies, but they are native to lands east of here, such as India. I wondered if it was possible that an Ockamy could be so nearby. Hence, I went to find it. I don't like... Yeah, I mean, a lot of my friends really like um, audiobooks. Particularly, like, when they're in a car. Um, I kind of get the, the appeal of that, like, when you're traveling, but... I don't know. I just like listening to music when I'm in the car, or, like... Maybe like a uh, you know a morning show or something, but I for some reason I just like the holding the book and like reading it right, even over like Kindle stuff too. Like sometimes I I do buy the Kindle books when I travel because it's easier than like carrying a giant you know hardback book with you and you're gonna mess it up. And I like my books nice and pretty. On the shelf, but anyway, so I don't know. I don't know what the problem I have with audiobooks is, but I just maybe one day I'll do it. What type of beast is an Okami? It is a spectacular beast, a feathered winged serpent like creature yeah. that can grow. I or get it. To fit I get it. They're just fits. not for me. It's eggs yet. are made of pure silver. They're not for Hence me yet. The desire to <laughs> trade in them. Seems quite a challenge finding an Okami in the mountains. It was. After a few days, during which my parents grew increasingly Narrated, oh, annoyed at Do they even absence, do those? I found what little remained of the wizard egg trader. He was near a tree hollow. I'd rather have like there, a professional, not the author. Seven unless they're good, Okami I guess. Eggs. What did you do with them? Nothing. I would imagine an author's not very good at voice acting, though. I could be code. wrong. Protective clothing, potion ingredients, even one cause. Only poachers see the value in ending a beast's life for galleons. I left the eggs alone. I hid. And moments later, the beast flew right over my head. Breathtaking. Oh, autobiography type. Okay. That, I guess that does make sense. Into the hollow. I'm thinking more incredible. of the... Uh... Indeed. 
I knew in that like moment that fiction I needed stuff. to understand all that I could about beasts and ensure that wizard kind learn to benefit properly from them. Now, I trust that I have answered your question. You would do well to continue your study of beasts, regardless of your chosen path. Don't tell me beasts how and what all to do. That they provide will vastly improve your life. And perhaps I would do well. one day even save it. How do you know? I shall remember that, Professor. Thank you. You knew I would do well. Give me a second. I will be right back.
All right. People especially escaping from cults. Oh, the autobiographies of those people. That's that's actually pretty interesting. Revelio. I've seen a couple different like movies. Um, or even like a couple episodes of like drama TV about stuff like that as well. But like I haven't heard any like insider stuff. Oh, let's do this. Let's do this one. This is the spell book. This is the audio book. Since we're talking about the audio books of things. Let's do it. <clears throat> Former scientist. Scientologist. Rebellion. Okay. The Tom Cruise cult. Okay, wait up. Before we do this, let's go sell some shit. So the, that's the mistake we made last time is not selling stuff and then our all our bags are full. <clears throat> Pete would like to speak with you when you have a moment. What do you want, Deke? Jeez. Always trying to speak with me it's not like you run my house or anything while I'm gone what are like some of the stories the Scientologists have hello Deke you wanted to talk to me indeed uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen so that you can breed beasts. That sounds like a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to Let's poachers. Let's breed some beasts. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deke suggests rescuing Thestrals. Also on YouTube. Great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. Purchase a breeding pen spellcraft. Okay, so that's at the, um, that's actually where we're going, so we're good. Revelio. Like, are they, like, held against their will at these places? I, that's kind of, like, what I, what I envision. I don't know if that's the truth or not. Alright, we gotta pet our beasts. We gotta feed and then pet our beasts.
See, we got hippogriffs. Pet our hippogriff. Pet our pet hippogriff. Collect his feather. Pet our... I don't know. It's a swooper, I guess. He's still grubbing, though. They're all grubbing. Uh, you're not supposed to attack your pets. Okay. I learned this the hard way. Revelio. My bad. I didn't mean to. Yeah, see, I'm saying, I'm telling you, you would like Hogwarts. Little cute guys. Cute little critters. And you get to collect, um, I made all this too. Like I, I actually spent like a good time. This was all like a field and you can, you can, you know, put stuff in here. I spent like two hours making all this stuff, making the trees. And I got this little cottage with a pumpkin patch in the back here. I spent way too much time in here, to be honest. I actually usually don't spend much time on these type of things, but I don't know. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Current leader's wife hasn't been since seen since 2006. Holy crap. She she ain't alive. She hasn't been seen since 2006. She did gonna go out on a limb say she's buried in a desert somewhere see and then you have different ones so here are even more cute animals Oh, he's actually playing with the brush. That's kind of cool. <laughs> uh... so looks like a like a link, uh, like a lynx and a bobcat, like had a baby, had a baby. And these look like those little um, animals on in Star Trek. What were they called? That like took over the ship. <laughs> it's like they breed like nobody's business, and all of a sudden they're like everywhere. That was like one of the funniest Star Treks ever. They have to be cute and able to kick ass. Uh, I don't know if they can kick ass, actually. The Hippogriff might be able to. But the other little ones... No, probably not. Alright, we gotta sell all this crap that we have. for delivering those potions to Madame Lawen. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. What can I do for you today? 
Okay, wait up, wait up. I hope to Gotta make sure again. we don't need to equip any of this crap that we got. We get 10 offense, but less defense. I don't know. That's a hard. This one's better. This one has like has better. Oh no! I don't know what to do. Always so hard. Had an ad block happening. Oh my gosh. Freaking ads. Uh, what was I saying? I don't know. Well, it must have been something important because I don't remember it. Oh, I think I was saying that I don't think any of the cute animals actually kick ass in this game. Except maybe the hippogriff. The hippogriff might be able to, because it's he's a big boy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm yeah, I'm I'm official now. Unfortunately. Or fortunately, however you want to look at it, I guess. I still have to figure out how to like um postpone them or whatever. I got an alert that I didn't have the the right box up to do that. I was like, okay, I'll mess with this later then. This is too high tech for me. I just wanna I just wanna scream, man. What's all this high tech shit? Here you found a bit of treasure in the forest. <laughs> I was never one for adventure myself. Hey, 83, 72, 84. 83, We'll keep the 84. I think. I think that's the, that's the call to make. They just have so much junk gear. Like, I hardly ever upgrade stuff. Looks like this mask is good, actually. I hope to see you again. Stick to bio mutant. All right, fine. I don't think it can get... Well, what about um, Zelda when it comes out? You're going to be playing that, right? Super Animal Royale. What's wrong with this Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. Revelio. Bro, man, magical staircase, bro. Totally radical. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Reading pen spellcraft. I have forty-four thousand dollars, man. I can buy this forty-four times. A breeding pen in the room. Best get back to Deke with the Thestrals. A hopping pot. What the heck? This type of magical little pot will brew randomly. Yeah, we want that. We'll take that. Material refiner. 
and take all of these. Just the right thing, is there? Let's just buy it. Let's buy his whole store out. Yeah, let's do it. We have so much Nothing money. Like finding just the right thing, is there? I'm gonna buy him out. We own you now. We own you. And it only costs 14,000. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Those that go to Azkaban never had a chance in the first place. Keep on giving us those, those updates. Okay, updates done. Let's go back to our room. I think you know it's a good game if they give you like a space that, to call your own, you know what I mean? To mess around with. Yeah, I think you know it's a good game when that happens. It means they care. Oh, this is a potion brewing. Oh. We want this. That looks cool too, it's blue. Okay, wait up. How are we gonna do do this? Let's see, we got four types that we can choose from. Come on. I want it. Well, that one's kind of cool. It's got like a tree. I don't like that one. That one looks too evil. It's got skulls on it. I want the tree one. Change color. Okay, let's change this color. It's yellow. Should be green, right? Eh. Yellow actually doesn't look bad. Maybe we just keep it yellow. Maybe just standard white color. We need to... Move this table out of the way. This one's bigger. Let's try to fit this one in the corner. Oh no, it ain't gonna fit. That's so lame. Super lame, man. I get this in the corner here. It's close enough, right? Just 
doesn't doesn't feel right. Doesn't feel right. This is why it takes me forever to uh, to do these things because I I freaking it's got to be perfect. Oh yeah, that's I think that's better. I wish you could put it against the wall. Like there's so much space. Oh shit. Um, did I ever stream? I think that was one of the games that I first started streaming on. I think that was the very first game I ever streamed, was Cyberpunk. But I only did it, like, at the end, though. Like, I only think I streamed it twice because I was almost done with it when I started streaming. Why do you ask? Yeah, this isn't working either. Yeah, I couldn't even get back to this other burner if I did it that way. It's a really good spot right there. Should I just get rid of this one? You just don't. I guess we could do that. That's not bad. Okay, I think we'll do that. That that's better than getting rid of it, I think. I wish it told you how many bottles you have already. I don't even like Thunder Brew. Why did I make that? Okay. Scientific little pot that will periodically brew a random potion. Okay. Oh, look at this little guy. Well, I think this is per this is the perfect spot for him too, I think. What color do we want? I like the design, just not the color. Ooh. Let's go pink. Let's pink this room up. No, I like that black, actually. That looks dope. And he hops around on his little foot. Look at that. This is my potion corner. My potion corner. Alright. Now what we actually came here for. Which... I think was this. 
Potting table with two medium pots. With a medium. Potting table with a large pot. No. Compost composters. 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 That's how it's pronounced, I think. Okay, small pots, medium pots, big pots, composters, chopping stations. Game figure of Johnny Silverhand with a gun in one hand and a guitar in the other. Nice. Where do you have him um, set up? For your viewing pleasure. Mm, I don't like the hooded. Oh, that one's cool. I think I like this one. This one here. That's a red? That's freaking green. I don't know how they figure out their, their colors in this. Actually, red doesn't look bad. It matches the room. Let's do it. work desk so you can uh, view them as you work while working I need to we need to move these these are in the way Not the floor. The lamp. Let's go put this somewhere where I don't really care. It's out of the way. Sit there. Get out of my way. Same with you, chair. I never go down there. I don't want to go down there. We're spending some time together. Hanging out. Oh look, I can fit it like right in the corner. Why can this go up against the wall and the other ones can't? I'm flabbergasted. Flabbergasted, I say. That's as far as it goes, like in the corner. So you might as well put it... Might as well put it right here.
Okay, so this pops out. I, um... play game it shouldn't even be an issue yeah well you know what can you do I don't even know why we were here in the in the beginning but in the first place why did we come here oh we won't we need we're gonna do this quest I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent. Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I shall. I where I should conjure their pen. Oh, we get a new one. Nice. Cool, man. Deke never grows tired of the room surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. Okay, where is this? Okay, this is on the other side. Let's grab our potions first. Our room's growing quite a bit, actually. It's actually cool. It's a cool potion. Okay, there's issue that these are too close. It's clogging my selections. How does one affect supremacy? Rebellio. What do you mean by that? I'm already supreme. I'm the supreme being. I'm the fifth element. I love that movie, Fifth Element. I uh, I love it so much. I bought a, a signed poster with Mia and Gary Oldman and um, Bruce Willis. There's a few other ones. I think the producers signed it.
Revelio. Great music, too. Not only you get one place to put things outdoors, you get three places. It's pretty good. It's pretty crazy. It's up this way. Oh, this place is pretty big. It's like a freaking maze up in here. Started saving 80s and 90s movies trailers. <laughs> nice. Revelio. You know what? When I watch like a well, not necessarily in 80s, but like 90s, maybe late 80s and like early 90s, uh, like movie trailers. Have you noticed that it's li literally like the the narrator is like always the same guy? I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but like all the movie trailers are the same. The audio. It's like the same voice. Revelio. Oh my gosh. It's like... How did we... <laughs> Why did we do that? You know what I mean? Like... It's ridiculous. It was literally every single movie trailer I go on IMDB to watch. All right, let's release our uh, our dude here. Let's release our Thestral. We can find our way back. Raised floor, medium, raised floor corner. You can build a whole like castle with this stuff. We don't want to do that. We just want to, we just want to breed animals. In this dark and gloomy freaking place. What is this? Oh, that's the exit. Like, this looks like a cave, but it's really my room. Alright. Where are we putting it?
looks like a good place to put it. Right next to the skull with the sword in it. Yeah, this is very... Very good decor. Maybe we put it over here. Yeah, maybe this is better. It's freaking huge. The size of this thing. I think that's a good spot. Okay, use the Thestrals. Correct. Release beasts in order to breed them. Beasts can be rescued in the highlands. Okay. We already did some beasts. We got some Thestrals going on. Got this guy. I don't know what the plus means. He's a... It's a male. It's a female. So do we need to... Shit, we can release them all, right? This is the perfect place to release the toads. Here we go. Toads. Jobber knolls. It's not really a good place for jobber knolls, but where else am I going to put them, right? Okay, now what do we do? You can breed offspring for any species where you have a male and female. Whoa, man. Just blew my mind, bro. Choose breeding pair. You have two males. I want this one and, and this one. This has a star. I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming it's good. Whoa, they made a nest. They get to not only date, they get to fuck too. <laughs> they get to have sexy time. What if they don't? Well, I guess we'll find out. If I come back and they're dead... Then we, we we know that they don't like each other. Let's put the hippogriffs in here too. I mean, it's not... You know what? I don't... Ah. It's just such a gloomy place for hippogriffs, right? Am I just crazy? Oh, we need to put a, um, a feeding thing too. Here, a feeding trough. Perfect. Perfect. Oh no. Come dinner time. Dinner time. Dinner's on. I don't know what the toy box does, but I, I put it in every place anyway. Somewhere with a little bit more scenic, exactly. These like skeleton birds, these these guys deserve to be here, I think. Let's see, we need to need to do this. We should put the birds in the next one that they give us. Oh, he, he falls down and you rub his belly. <laughs> 
27 minutes to breed these people. It's quite the stamina they got going on there. This guy I got, this guy I got, this bird I got. I thought I had two birds. Revelio. It's my other bird. Oh, Toad. Toad, go eat. So I can harvest whatever you give me. I'll do it the old fashioned way, I guess. Revelio. Yeah, I don't know where the other bird is. Toad warts. That's what the toad gives us. I'm going to use those in my witchy potions. A pinch of toad wart. Alright. So, I used it. Why is the quest not updating? Just dating. They're just. <laughs> They're just dating right now. I've always thought that that word was funny. I I guess I'm immature. I'm immature like that. Gestation. Oh my gosh, so this is super difficult to pick up. It's in between all this other crap. Thrift shore worker's dream. <laughs> oh, you can choose the lighting, actually. I actually chose it this way. You can change like the mood. You can change anything. You can change the mood. You can change the walls. You can change the floors. Um. So it's my fault if there's no lighting. Nothing to identify, for now at least. Right. So you at talk to him, and you can change the room's ambiance. Yeah, that's a pain. Very true. Can't even put furniture against walls. What the, What is the world coming to? All right, what are we doing now? We've we've wasted enough time in this place. All right, let's go and speak to Sebastian. See what he's got going on with the audiobook. I don't know which, how the, like what the fastest way down there is though. It's like underneath everything. Ay ay ay.
Duncan owes his reputation to you. Okay, let's save this. Before we go, enter a uh, dark and foreboding dungeon that we may or may not live through. Just kidding. I don't think I've died. I've only died. I think I have died once. I think I have died. So I take that back. Revelio. You'll never believe what I've learned. What is it? What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. We had, we did what we had to, to, to live. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it. Because in the spellbook, I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. Alright, fine. I see no reason I'll keep to your secret. Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. Oh, that's it? I thought it was going to be like a main quest here. to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous. Oh, no. We were just about to get some air. Care to join? Revelio. You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I want to change coats. I'm sick of this, this coat. I want the, uh, this snakeskin one again. Or dragon skin or whatever it is. Ooh, look at that. That actually goes well with the... Let's look full. Cool. Let go with those. Those look... That looks matching. Styling, man. Styling now. We rocking this. The amount of option they give you to Rebellion. customize is pretty amazing. I'm not letting this go. Ominous. Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died.
poor Anne and Sebastian. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I can't lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. It, it mutes but me for... I, I gotta figure that out. I don't know why it mutes me randomly. It would um, but what I was saying is... I get where Sebastian's coming from because he's trying to save his sister from the disease. So he's... He's trying everything he can get his hands on. But yeah, he could uh, he could approach it a little bit more delicately. That's for sure. And I just missed where I'm supposed to go. Where am I supposed to go? I guess I could look at the quest, huh? No, it's done. Let's look at the map then. Should we just do this main quest real quick while we're waiting on our gestations to be done? You know what, let's let's do this one too. This one. I need. Okay. Hit me. Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William, the one I told you about after charms class. He's he's been cursed. He ignored my warning and now he's, he's lying been in the bungos looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry. How exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't. I wish my feet were purple beets. Getting from our garden rabbit. And I could literally eat myself. Hospital. I'm gonna say that's hilarious. Beets for feet. <laughs> how hilarious! I mean, how how terrible, horrible, truly. You and the entire school may <laughs> find it funny, but the situation. Everyone's is got dying. a British accent. It is an unusual situation. Oh no, I, I take that back. How did your brother end up like this? They're like it's Ugandans at Hogwarts I told and him about some Indians. I've done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face, told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that weren't possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb, and poof! His feet transfigured into beets. How awful. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly. He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be brainless broken? mistake? Possibly. I want permanent. The curse beat, stems beat. from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. 
Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? Right, shrewd of Hogwarts. Why was Mom Duke's tomb cursed? The curse is the result of an intense sibling rivalry between Granum Dale and his younger brother Marmaduke. Marmaduke was a famed herbologist, and Granum resented the attention that he received. Sibling rivalry? Sounds as if it might run in the family. But I would never intentionally curse my brother, not like Granum did. When their mother died, Marmaduke was given the prized family crest. Granum felt that as the eldest child, he should have been given it. Years later, when Marmaduke died, Granum stole it and cursed the tomb so that none in the Dale family could ever pay their respects. Well, if I help, will my feet become beats? God willing. God willing, my friend. Safe. I don't want my feet to turn into beats as well. Oh, but the curse only applies to Marmaduke's descendants, as my brother so aptly demonstrated. That's why I need your help. You're unrelated to my family, so the curse wouldn't affect you. How do you walk with beat feet? Why do they like they squish? So he discovered the properties of several magical herbs and plants. When you take a step, he also uncovered numerous types of flora. The wizarding world owes him a great debt. His work not only impacted the discipline of herbology, but also potion making. I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Thank you for your help. My family is indebted to you. What was it you needed my help with, Samantha? You were going into the tomb east Natural of for removing where ice. my ancestor was laid to rest. Oh, that's... There, do they? You were to place a crest upon his I thought that was like salt or I'm something. I'm hoping that will reverse the curse that has turned my brother's feet Never down. fall on ice with beat feet. Just live someplace cold. My brother's doing well, there's always... Ice. I need to find the tomb near Brockborough and place Samantha's family crest on a circle. Alright, let's go. Let's go. They used to be salt's too expensive. Ah. Revelio. Oh, I, I would imagine beets are super expensive, too. Like, you have to grow beets. We must have, a, like, a, a huge-ass farm. I guess you have to farm salt, too, so... Could go either way, I guess. Oh, that's true. Yeah, who I you never hear let's have beets for dinner. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What let's let's eat some beets. See look, I'm I'm capturing little guys. Little, little cute puff skeins. Revelio. Let's capture them all. Take them home where they're safe. Come here, Puff Scheme. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. All right, I think I'm good. All right, I'll, I'll do one more. So many Puff Schemes. Rebellion. Well, my feet didn't turn into tribbles. Oh, they're called oh, tribbles. I think in Star Trek. Yeah, tribbles. The trouble with tribbles. Shh. 
Should have known a herbologist would use Devil's Snare. We've already cleared this place, so we're just gonna go straight for the sarcophagus. A sarcophagus. This must be Marmaduke. Crest of Marmaduke Gilbertus Dale. That should reverse the curse. I feel like I'm in um, Indiana Jones and uh, the Last Crusade right now. This is literally exactly Indiana Jones' Last Crusade. Scribble the inscription on his shield. Oh, it makes me want to watch that movie, actually. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. The banter between... Harrison Ford and Sean Connery's epic John Wick marathon. Oh, that's another good one. You want to watch them all before the the fourth one comes out? I I actually like the second one best. The third one was eh, it was okay. I mean, it was still it was still the greatest action like of our. Of our time, I think. Like the action is is amazing in John Wick. You don't know about about um, watching him before the fourth comes out. Samantha will be glad to hear that the crest has been returned. I certainly hope it reverses the curse. You'll get to it eventually. The fourth one? It's gonna be a good one. Okay, we gotta return to her, but before we do... Let's go to these astronomy tables here. I hate how the, uh, we have to like be super zoomed in to see these. Revelio. Who lived here, I wonder? Oh. You gotta wait till night, duh. Starting doesn't work it in the day. Knowing a meat he's likely studied here. Five plus, they get the stupid B ad. There's a B a B ad. I don't know if I've seen the B ad. Percornis. All right, I think we're still missing one of the tables here. Let's scope this out real quick. Yeah, here's one. Pretty obvious one, though. I thought we were missing a different one. I really want to do all this crap here. There's a lot to do right there.
handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. What is going on? Oh, we gotta flip it all the way. Flip faster, damn it. Let's finish this uh, quest here. Then I think we'll do some exploring. I'm happy to tell you that I returned the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus just as you asked. I thought as much. I received there are so many quests in this that game. My father's feet are back to normal. It's ridiculous. No more feet. Oh, I cannot thank you enough. It wasn't too much trouble, I hope. No more beat feet. Just a measly old troll. Nothing significant. A troll? Oh dear, I'm so sorry. That's awful. No one has been in that tomb for centuries. But I can't say I'm surprised. Marmaduke seems to have been full of surprises. Indeed he was. Well, I suppose I should be going. I'm anxious to see my brother, who must be elated to have his feet back. Of course. I certainly would be. William and I are forever in your debt. Thank you again for watching. How do you get around without feet? You just you do handstands, you know? do handstands to get everywhere that's some uh must uh, grow some significant upper body strength all right let's do some exploring do some exploring the worst part of eating chips and dip is that the inequity inequality of volume of chips and dip or is it getting dip on your fingers or is it getting chip grease all over your electronics hmm these are Ready. solid questions to be answered right now um I I want to say the inequality of the dip to chips because the dip's always gone and you have chips left right now also the grease on the electronics is no good too so that may be actually worse and like licking your fingers doesn't doesn't do you any good either because you know then you just oh shit what it happened then you're like smearing shit i don't want to deal with this guy right now Up. 
the armors. Incendio. Confringo. Defendo. These guys have too much HP. Small careful. bag of chips, and then had all the dip leftovers. Oh, wait. It's usually the opposite for me. Yeah, it's usually always the opposite. Because I always have too many chips left over and no dip. Okay, what the heck? Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. I don't know if this is the right. Okay, up and right. Up and right. So this needs to be flipped. Defender. It's not, this is not working out. Get on the ground. No. What? What the f? Flipendo. Wingardium Leviosa. Quite annoying, actually. Wingardium Leviosa. Why is it keep moving? Oh, my God. Oh, you can okay. You can rotate it by doing this. Okay. That makes it much easier. Goblin will rule over 
That's all I was trying to do, but in a roundabout way, a harder way. Revelio. The small chips? Oh, I eat all of it. I I turn the bag upside down and I drain it into my mouth. Sometimes that's those are the best parts. The 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 dregs like at the bottom. What about you? You you throw it away? I try not to let any food go to waste. You end up tossing them, really? Leave this time, Marlin. <laughs> you have to have a whole chip. You are a snob. Whole chip, or else it doesn't belong in my mouth. Rebellion. Three quarter of one. Okay, so if it was half a chip, is that the 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 line in the sand? Is if it's half a chip, you just leave it in there. It's it's not getting eaten. It's the line. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Spiders! Why'd it have to be spiders? Revelio. This looks intriguing. Yeah, true, true. Like, if, yeah, for sure. Like, if you're dipping it. But I will still eat the, um. Incendio. If you're, you don't want to dip, like, a. A small chip, right? Incendio. But, um. If you're just eating a bag. Of chips. And I'm definitely. I'm definitely grabbing the whole thing. No doubt. Where's this little carrot tornado go? Revelio. Yeah. Save them all. I'll eat them. I'll eat all. I don't discriminate. I will eat all the lesser, the lesser chips. What do you have in store for me this time? I just like kind of crinkle the bag, and like just drain them into my mouth. The bag becomes the funnel. Revelio. All this talk of food is making me hungry, by the way. Accio. Confringo. Revelio. Confringo. Not so tricky after all, Marlin. Lesser chips and potato chips, which one? Oh, potato sticks? What's a potato stick? Like a french fry? Rebellion. Is that what a potato stick is? Or is that like a special type of chip that I'm not aware of? That I'm not privy to?
lesser chips, but they're just small sticks. Oh, they're 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 all lesser. Oh, I want to do this blow up stuff. How nice of you to stop. Blow up stuff. This is the this is the stuff we want to do right here. I'm famished. Oh, yeah, blow up stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Bombarder. I have a crap on you. Are. <laughs> oh shit. One less human to worry about. Flipenda, Superfinda, Expelliarmus. Oh, way to stab someone in the back. Glacius, Defender, Expelliarmus. I won't rest. No, I think I'd rather have um lesser chips with their small. It sounds like they're the same thing. Though. Small, but they're smaller in size, like skinnier. I'm gonna have to look up what they are. I like a potato stick, I get french fries. <laughs> I get french fries. Um, I, I want the stick, I think. Because... Because, um... You're not gonna get dip on your hand. Uh, I think that's my rationality that I'm gonna go with. Yeah, the one I'm looking at is like French's potato sticks, and they just look like French fries to me. But they're like, they look actually pretty skinny, French fries. Incendio. Rebellion. Franrock has fooled you all to your demise. Yeah, we have thirty eight. Should be thirty nine. Nine challenges. I'm only fifty four percent explored. This is ridiculous. I need 32 more dueling feats. Holy crap, that's so many. It's usually about an inch to two inches. Oh, those are super short then. Like, how do you even dip with an inch? Like, that's nothing. I think you would need at least two inches. Two inches I could see. I, I think I would still rather have the sticks. If we're talking about dipping in relation to dipping, I'd want to have the sticks to dip instead of the the um, the the lesser chips. If that's what we're we're dubbing them. 
the lesser chips. Breed 10 unique beasts. Shoot. Got some work to do there, too. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Yep, uh... No, I probably, I, well, do I have my choice of dip? Or is it, or, or is my choice sour cream or no dip? Or do I have sour cream and some other dip? I have choice of dip? Yes, I do dip my french fries. I prefer... Well, it depends on the french fry, though. So, like, the... Like, the Chris Cuts from Carl's Jr. I like their... The Carl's Jr. Ranch. The Carl's Jr. Ranch is so good. But sometimes they don't have their house ranch. And... The house... Uh, the non-house ranch doesn't taste as good, so... I will... I do barbecue if there's no house ranch for the Chris Cuts at Carl's Jr. For the um, let's see for Mc, like McDonald's fries, what do I usually use? It's been a while since I went to McDonald's. Barbecue. I think I use barbecue there too. Revelio. Yeah, so, um, Chris Cuts Ranch, the Carl's Jr. House Ranch, and then, uh, like, um, McDonald's, ran um, barbecue. Chick-fil-A, I haven't, I, I don't ever eat Chick-fil-A fries, but when I eat the Chick-fil-A itself, I dip that in the, um, I don't know what sauce that is, actually. I actually don't know what the freak sauce that is. That's crazy. Yeah, so I, I don't have the Chick-fil-A fries. If it's like a In-N-Out fry... Oh, In-N-Out fries are the worst, to be honest. I do not like In-N-Out fries. But I dip those in uh, ketchup. Because they don't really have anything else to dip it in. Chick-fil-A ketchup. Okay. I love me some Chick-fil-A. I, I just don't like ever account, eat right? the fries there. Are the fries there good? One of the best meals I've ever eaten. How do I get up to this guy without being seen? I don't think it's possible. No, it's not possible. Belgrup the Bludgeoner. No! 
Oh, I take these these guys out with freaking one shot of ancient magic. You won't get away with that. Watch me, bro. I like hitting them with their own weapon. Revelio. See a chest over there. They're waffle fries. <laughs> oh, the Chick fil A ones are? I call them Chris Cuts. Revelio. Yeah, waffle fries works too. I like the. Are they kind of like. Uh, are they kind of like the Carl's Jr. Chris Cuts? Because those are the best. I think I would like. I think I would like Chick fil A fries. What's your favorite fry? You've never seen the Carl's Jr.? Oh, those are the best fries. You, you should go to Carl's Jr. just for the fry. Just for the fry. I'll order five orders of Chris Cut fries, please. These rocks of the mood? Okay, okay, fair okay. enough. Don't have Carl's Jr.? I don't know. Why don't why wouldn't you have Carl's Jr.? Hardee's? You have Hardee's? Same thing. Nebraska has Carl's Jr. Come on. There aren't Carl's Jr. in freaking Nebraska. What is Nebraska? NB is the code? No, that's not it. The... What the hell is the thing for Nebraska? NE? Revelio. Repairer. Six ads, B ad. Aren't they all? Is there a way I can like reduce the ads or something? Repairer. Are they always six ads? Revelio. Oh, okay. The castle must have been quite stately in its time. Why? I can't find the last one. Oh, there it is. It's hiding behind a rock. Revelio. I know I can. Repair us. You gotta deal with the B ad. No worries. No 
That's the student who released Oaks. Expelliarmus. You won't die. Defend us. All defense. That student defeated our encampment in the tower. You fancy yourself? I shall avenge your death. Defend us. Expelliarmus. <laughs> Just, I still love it. Never gets old hitting them with their own weapons. Does not get old. Look at all this stuff here. So we're doing that. Making it great. Maybe they're like, hey, how can we get people to subscribe? Let's run a B ad a billion times. Sounds like a plan. The most annoying ad there can, you can have. I don't know if in, if in fact it's the most annoying, but you know what I mean. On. Let me look at it. Oh my gosh. Defeat all enemies however you choose. Okay, well that's easy one. Thought I was gonna die. Super annoying. All right, let's get this bag of goodies. Let's try going back up and getting this now. Like, as I was falling, it gave me the option to get it. Broken binoculars. These broken binoculars were left here by muggles, attempting to track what they suspected was an odd-looking bear but what was likely a demiguise. They could not, for the life of them, understand how something could seem to disappear so quickly. Okay, where is this ancient magic over here? Revelio. There it is. Here's the third. This place has seen better days. It's inside. Oh no, it's here. Shame I didn't have an audience for that one. Oh, we're clearing these pretty quick, actually. 
Revelio. Gotten really good at clearing all these quick. Levioso. Levioso. <sighs> Revelio. I like the ones you just open it up and there's a chest. No more puzzles, just reward. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, can you pre-order? Oh, did you see that um, the date's finally set for Starfield? September 6th. September 6th, yeah, they released it finally. The date. I'm also, I've been trying to get the, um... The pre-order for, um, the collector's edition. For Zelda? I don't know what to do. Say everywhere sold out, and, and they haven't even opened Best Buy yet. I don't think Zelda's doing the right thing with the pre-orders. There's, it's only a hundred and thirty um thirty dollars for the collector's edition. How did you? When did that come out? Yeah, but did you get the collectors? Uh, I'm trying to look it up right now. It was a good deal, though. Like, I was actually really surprised. Because usually um, they go for like $300. Last time I looked, um, like GameStop and Amazon were sold out, and Best Buy hadn't released it yet. So it comes with the seal book, pins, uh, the game, of course, like an art book, and then what else? Pin set includes four pins. I guess that's it. Oh, Icon Art Steel Poster. Oh, that's cool. It's like a steel poster. So you can magnetize that to something. Usually just get the game in the last when you get the hardcover book. What do you mean, game in the last? Like, um, this is this, this is the regular one, though. 
the clock guides. I, 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 I feel you. I, I have a lot of guide collection, but now, like, it's so easy with the, with the internet to find things. I usually don't do a guide. Maybe I will do a guide for this one, because I do have the Breath of the Wild guide, the hardback. Um, and I usually do guides for Final Fantasy 2, but I don't think I did one for 15. Or, uh, yeah, maybe I did do have one. No, I do have one for 15. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do a guide for it. I kind of like the guides too. But... I can't find the pre-order collector's edition. eBay. How does that work? They're just... Stupid. Wasn't the right game. Right, so here, Collectors is sold out. You have all the Tomb Raider, that's nice, that's cool. I have all um, Final Fantasy 13 ones. Car brochures of all the car. Whoa, really? <laughs> the car brochures. That's that's a funny one. Here, this is the one I want. But it says coming soon. We've updated our reservation process. Yeah, but that, that requires it to be available to, for purchase. I can't purchase it. I wish you could send me an email when this is available. I want to give you my money. I want to give you my money. Yeah, it's nice, huh? And it's only 130. I mean, there's no like action figure that are usually included, but that, I don't want any of that. I, I think they did it right with that collector's edition. Give me one second, I'll be right back.
this is usually around my stopping time, but I uh, made some arrangements to go a couple more hours. Yeah, everything digital. Yeah, I, I hate that. Like, I purposely bought the, um... Oh, what the heck? Do we have these guys? Yeah, we have them. Incendium. Um, yeah, I purposely bought the, the disc Ready. version of, you know, the PlayStation, because... I want my collection. I don't want, you know, I don't want digital versions of anything. Except movies. Because I, the amount of movies I go through, it wouldn't make sense to have hard copies of everything. And the fact that the movie industries or the quality of the videos in the movie industry is changing so much that you're gonna you always have to buy a new one right like you buy one on dvd then you buy one on blu-ray then you buy one in 4k right so it's like Leviosa. crazy expensive this looks intriguing Revelio. It's another one of these block ones. Damn it. Yeah. My assistant told me I could uh I could go two more hours. <laughs> it's like check my calendar for me. Tell me if I can go two more hours or not. I don't know what to do here. Well, how do we place the arrows? Oh, okay. I'm going to guess the opposite. The one that's not there. So we have a right. We have an up. We have a left. So it's a down. It's a down arrow. I'm so smart. Look at that. I'm so smart. Revelio. They could have a uh, little trickier uh, puzzles to solve. Let's be honest here. I guess their target audience isn't um isn't my generation. We'll just say that. Target audience is probably little kids. Actually, you know what? Harry Potter is pretty old though, right? So like, it's not really little kids anymore that are into Harry Potter. So I guess the I guess I'm wrong. The target audience is a little bit older than I I was thinking then.
Rebellio pages. Got a whole crap ton of these. That's for damn sure. We completed a quest, I thought, here. Yep. We're done with goblins. Still need 42 wizards, one Dugabog. Oh, there's more dueling feats after this. Shh. I hate dueling feats, man. Revelio. I should investigate. Oh shit. Oh, it's scary. Incendio. Good fringo. Rebellion. I actually started that reminds me of like those inferus or whatever they're called reminds me of zombies or whatever. And I just started The Last of Us last night. Which was the first episode was freaking amazing. And it was um very um I know I'm not in trial when I see one. Going along with like the game's plot, too. Confringo. Revelio. Usually have five of these that we have to bust. With the bust up. Bust these up. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. Revelio. Is that a chest? I could just chest chilling out in the open. It's like I'm just gonna leave my chest with all my materials here. It's all good. My valuables in the open Likely this field. Astronomy table will be best. Revelio. Not a big deal. Here's one of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned. Yeah, it's night, bro. Why can't I blow up a loyalist sentinel with Bombarda while they charge their magic? Oh shit. Revelio. Where are they? Loyalist Sentinel. 
Let's kill everyone with but loyalist sentinels. With the sneaky sneak. Traficus totalis. I know Ravenio. Why am I always on patrol? It's a waste of my skills. Traficus totalis. Ravenio. Well, it's Sentinel. You're the one who released Oaks. You won't be able to stop it. <laughs> That's a nice spell. Revelio. That Bombarda is a nice spell. Oh wait, let's uh, grab the chest. Forty one should be forty two. Revelio. Just chesticles, wing and well potion. Damn it. Oh, I'm dumb. I'll I'll drop and then I'll use it and then I can get it. I'm stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh. 
An astronomy table. Should prove useful once the sun's down. Lacerta the lizard. Can you like? Feels like you should be able to zip line here. Can you? Oh shit. Nope, you can't zip line there. That answers that question. I'm forbid of dying, are we? Revelio. You enjoy suffering, do you? Revelio. Renrock will be eliminated. Revelio. Revelio. Okay, so this should be forty three, right? Forty-three, indeed. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Okay, what is this? It's an ice. Ice pill. Ice, ice baby. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Revelio. Okay, okay. I never figured out this. This one. Confringo. Like, I just don't. <laughs> and I'm just gonna start pulling shit out. Start pulling shit out. Accio. Revelio. Accio. Guess and check method. There it is. Revelio. Guess and check method. 
wins the day again. All right, how close are we to be getting full up on uh, gear? Pretty close. Pretty darn close. Let's get out. Let's get out while we can. Revelio. Who flamed it up? Rebellion. Stop. Like, it's stuck in, like, sprint mode sometimes. Where's the entrance? Where's the entrance? I see shit down there. Repair up? Repair up. Yay! This looks intriguing. Rebellion. Okay. Rebellion. Let's get the magic, or yeah, the ancient magic. Well, actually, before we do that. Repair. Levitate an Ashwine soldier. I hope Brookwood knows what. What does it matter if they're still alive? Concentrate on the spoils we'll be leaving with. Crap mine. Patricus Totalus. Who lived here, I wonder? Uh, Revelio. It's a soldier. We want him alive. I don't waste time seeing if they're dead. There's a their soldier. Not on my hands. Only Levitate it to disrupt their expulsive cast. There's someone messing about. Expulso! Rookwoods don't go down easy. Incendio! I shall kill you for this when I get down from here! Really enjoying the view, but it's you. Patricius Keep your body buying curses. Cynthia! There's talk Patricius of what you... I've no fear. 
Incendio! Is it you who've been casting expelling armors everywhere? Hold still! Incendio! What are you doing? Also! Dang it. A trip against Tom Talley! Incendio! A trip against Tom Talley! Stop that! Expulso! Quickly! Expulso! No! Thank you. Incendio. Incendio. Confringo. Trigger for the armors. Expulsive windows. No. Expulso. Place. Expel the armors. Confringo. Incendio. Rebellion. Ah, no one to share in my victory. It's over here. What's this? Code stool caps. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Right, let's, uh... Abandoned long ago, no yeah. doubt. Tent? We have to enter the tent? This is, I don't remember having to do this. didn't get a collection from that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Rebellio. I brought every is the chest in here? Okay, let's do this. Let's save it here. Six twenty six. Let's roll back. Six sixteen. Okay, let's roll back to a little bit past this. Wait, let's look here first. 
Revelio. Oh, we had already done it. Like before? Okay, if that's the case, then we're golden. Let's look at that. Uh, load. About manual save. On the 23rd. No. Six nineteen. Why does it show completed there? I haven't even gone down there. Revelio. Very concerning. Six eleven. Everything's showing completed. But March 23 is not showing completed. And I didn't complete it today. I did not complete it today. What the F? Showing completed earlier today, way earlier. Six 
says it says I got it. All right, whatever. Better be the case. I don't want it to be the glitched. That's that's just what I'm worried about. Is just, it just being glitched is all, and not being able to get platinum out of this. Revelio. Yes, there have been mistakes, but I can't complain. If I'm to think of it, we've seen far worse in our years. Okay, duelist, break a shield charm with an ancient magic throw. Don't you? Incendio. That's just the beginning. Oh. Accio. Oh. 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 I'm just warming up. Oh. Incendio. I've seen you yeah. use expel your armor. Impressive. Confringo. You will pay oh. for your deed. Uh. Had it? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Time to teach someone a lesson. Patrick is totally. To your knees. A tripping us to Talis. Levioso. No. Akio. You're going to regret that. That's just the beginning. You're no match for me. Incendio. <laughs> Confringo! Uh, had enough? Uh, You've made a uh, great mistake! Uh, You're only delaying the inevitable! Incendio! Confringo! Uh, Defendo! Uh, you will pay uh, for your deed! Uh, Expelliarmus! Uh, uh, Confringo! Uh, Revelio! Uh, Nobody will believe I defeated a Nashwinder by myself. There was no duelist to do that feat. Oh my god, that was lame. Super lame, bro. Why is there a... was there, there's not any more, but there was a skull here. Dude, I just want to get out of here, what the heck. Revelio.
Revelio. What are those? These are the eggs, aren't they? Yep. Eggs. I just don't like them showing up on the Revelios. Same with this. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Line is kind of a pain. I guess I'm just not used to it, but Revelio. Revelio. That's all that's left. This whole area. It's all that's left. Oh wait. Do this. If only Professor Fig could have seen that. Do 
wasn't looking a slapstick. Don't call. Can't. Why can't I? Can access it. Revelio. Turn my back for one second and we're warning up a hog steel shudders when they see me coming. And Patrovicus Totalus. Revelio. Oh, that was lucky. Revelio. That was lucky we got that. Oh, we already got this chest. Confringo. Uh -huh. The classic ring around the rock trick. The beasts are safe. Revelio. I mean, gear slots are just fucking. Uh... Of this, Jesus Christ, I can hate broomsticks. Jeez. Oh, I already activated it. That's why. Confringo. Revelio. Like, I activated it a long ass time ago. Confringo. Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. Confringo! These Merlin trials won't get the best of me.
All right, I am done with this area finally. <sighs> Which means. Go to hogs, man. Turn in our shit. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. The heck's going on with him? We've got a sign flipper. Welcome. <laughs> Do let me know if I can be of any. You know what? We gotta identify this shit. God damn it! Don't like having to do this. Why does? Why is this even a thing? I should be able to breed here too, right? Uh, let's do this. Yes. Don't want it against the pond, though. That's... I'm gonna put it here. I gotta move these.
No, I guess it's good there. Revelio. Other bird is like way up there. Okay, so, female, this is a male, yeah, let's put, yeah, freaking heck yeah. Get it on, High Wing, get it on. You know what? This is all set up wrong. I gotta freaking just fix this. I gotta fix this. Can't move it. Dang it. Okay, whatever. Sorry, guy. I didn't mean to attack you. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, so... Where are we putting the nesting at? Why can't that go there? God damn it. Too big of a thing, man. Revelio. Look at him. The baby. I should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. Revelio. Okay, wait up. Let's uh Can we breed him more? Let's shoot might as well, right? but some plants here seem to be ready to harvest. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts, but sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts, that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. What a horrible tale, Deke. 
I'm so sorry. Deke's only told Professor Weasley that story. And now yourself. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Okay, now we can go to Hogsmeade. Sell our ship. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Blanc. He like says that every every single time he says the same thing. It's quite annoying. Quite annoying, man. Save me a lot of time and trouble. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. So, trying to think. Upgrade gear more times. Read unique beasts.
All right, let's do this uh, main quest here. We have time to do it. Revelio. Come on, get me out of battle. High wing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want High wing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But... At the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not worry, safe with me. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? Rebellion. Centaurs. A centaur. Tread carefully. Where are we? Okay. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. Revelio. Huh. 
He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. Time I've seen a Dugbog behave that violently. It seems that the Dugbog has been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. Rebellion. This is odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Pelt. Poor beasts. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only really knows what's going on here. I don't Rebellion. have a good feeling about this. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. Revelio. All flavor of wicked to be had with the dark arts. Gracchus Totalus. It's all about having a keen eye. Take me, for instance. My eyes are keener than nipplers on a pile of gold. Or a nog tail to a sow. Huh? Oh, is that you, Royland? Patricus Totalus. Revenue. Merlin, you'd think they were guarding the minister for magic himself. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. Enter the poacher tent. Look at this little tent. And it's going to be what huge inside. Merlin's name? Are those dragons? That's pretty badass. It's a dragon fighting ring. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. That's it. I don't know what Victor was sinking Stratificus Totalus. Should have let him talk. A 
Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Ah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't gonna get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is gonna get me precisely what I want. Sickens me to work alongside any of them. Don't know how Ramrock's stomach's being near, Rookwood. Foul beast. Not much longer now. Soon our necks will be out from under wizarding boots. Wizard kind will pay for what they've done. What have we done? Patrakis Totalis. Revelio. I don't know what have we done, I forget. He's told to us what we've done. So many world one freaking potions drop right now. Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? It's messed up. They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her odds, shall we? Rebellion. from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Okay, let me actually move. Gosh, thank you. Alohomora. the egg. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy Rebellion. us a few seconds. Let's make them count. Careful! Ramrock will want his dragon intact! Show yourself! Slow up, Portia. Push you after they release their blast attack. Slow a poacher. Memento. 
to the wolf. Heavy ice out, coward! You fought me fairly! Poacher executioner. There is no poacher exit freaking cutioner, man. There is no poacher fucking executioner. What are they talking about? Shit, that's the executioner. Fuck. Dude, I disarmed him. Barely felt anything at all. Thank you. Out. 
Get out. This way. Quickly. That was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. Should we expect trouble from the poachers, given the trouble we just caused? It'd be foolish not to expect it. They're not a forgiving lot. I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger target on your back now because of what we just did. We're not here. helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Rebellion. Careful, you? I shall see you back at the castle. the transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term. Rebellion. Rebellion. Incendium. Confirm them. Revelio. 
Always come in threes. Levioso, Defendo, Expelliarmus, Confringo, Incendio. Revelio. Revelio. Lumos. Our way. We are in the Great Hall. Revelio. Lumos. I'm 
hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Revelio. It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. Revelio. So this is the underground harbor. The Grey Lady. I'd say hello, but she doesn't seem particularly social. Located deep beneath the viaduct courtyard is the landing for boats delivering first-year students across the Black Lake to Hawkins. missing here. This is weird. I will be right back. Perhaps the book Professor Weasley wants me to get is upstairs.
All right, guys. Actually, that's going to be it for me tonight. It was close to stopping time anyway. So we are just going to finish this up. It was a longer day anyway today, but um, it's a good day. Got a lot done, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow picking up, as usual, right here. Um, hope to see you then. Peace out.